What's up guys, Theo here, and in this video we're going to be doing a new series on uh, SQLZoo.net and if any of you know about this site, uh, basically it's a walkthrough of using SQL uh, structure, uh, structure query language, uh, which is basically the interface by which you communicate to the database and uh, sort of the, the queries that you write, uh, basically how you're going to get data, inserting, updating, deleting, performing all of the general CRUD operations. Uh, so this is the first one, as you can see, select basics, and I've reset it, most of them, or I've reset them all, and uh, the interface is, it populates a little bit of it, but you, you sort of see you have to uh, fill out the rest. So let's go through this, and then uh, maybe I'll break it up into another video, but we'll do the quiz after. So here's this table, right? This is just some, you know, pretend this is some real world data, and obviously it's about the world, and these are the different, um, uh, column names and each one of these is a uh, a row, right? This is one record of data that you might get back from from a query and uh, have to deal with. So these are different field names, and so let's, let's look at this, right? So um, I'm actually going to get rid of all of this so we can walk through it together because there's only three. Maybe in later ones we won't do that, but for now. So so this example uses a where clause to show the population of France. Note that strings, uh, pieces of text that are data, should be in single quotes. So modify it to show the population of Germany. Okay, so what, we, what we're looking for, what they're asking us to do, is uh, show the population of, of Germany, right? So it's, it's not here, right? But we can sort of look at what we want. Here is the name Germany. So we're going to say uh, select all from, so this is a wild card right here, which means give us all fields. It doesn't mean give us all records, but it just means give us all the fields. So this isn't the best in, the production in a production database because if you're pulling fields you don't need, well, you're just really wasting performance benefits there. But that's not what we're trying to, to discuss here. Uh, so anyways, this is just select all the fields. And if you wanted to select individual fields, you know, you might say uh, select name, right? Or you could say in this case, what's it called? It's just called world. You know, you can say world dot name, whatever the table is called, followed by the column. So we're just going to do select star, which is select all wildcard from uh, from world, and then here's our where clause. And what's the where clause going to be? The where clause is going to be where name um, is equal to what's the name going to be equal to Germany? Okay, so let's submit the SQL and see what we get back. Wrong answer. Too many columns. So let's look at what we did wrong. So this is good. Um, oh, so, okay. Modify it to show the population of Germany. Okay, right. So so that's good. I was reading it incorrectly. So what we want is just population. We submit that. There we go. So as you can see, by um, you know, preface, prefacing the or by putting uh, the different column names before the from clause. Normally you might have it like this. Um, we're able to uh, basically be more specific about what columns we want, right? So we could actually additionally put, uh, what else do we want? Population, well, I put that in, yeah, I put that in, in uh, uppercase, but let's do population name. Let's see what we get back here. So you can see we got population and name. So I'm gonna change it back to population. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get rid of that as well. So checking a list, the word in, this is a SQL, uh, keyword, reserved keyword, allows us to check if an item is in a list. This example shows the name population for the countries Brazil, India, and China. Okay, so let's show the name population for Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Okay, so let's, let's try and do this. So we'll do select name population from world, that's the table name, and uh, now we're going to say um, where in um, let's see, where name, or where in name is equal to Sweden. Let me just run this real quick. I might have written it incorrectly. Let's do this. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I'm a little rusty. But, so basically, where name in, I almost had that right. And, uh, yeah, you just have to put it in parentheses. So let's change this out. We'll say Sweden, and we'll separate it by commas. Norway and Denmark. And let me just bring this up. Let me do another line right there. Clean that up. 
There we go. And what does it say? Sweden, Norway, and what did I do? Ah, oh, sorry. My bad, guys. They all have to go in, in quotes. So we'll do Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Okay, and let's run this. Awesome. Cool. So this last one is which countries are not too small, not too big. So between allows us, allows range checking. Range uh, is inclusive. And this example below shows countries with an area, the area column, of 250,000 to 300,000 square kilometers. Modify it to show the country and the area. So, so we're going to show the country and the area in this case. So is there a country field? No, it's just the name. Okay, so to show the country and the area with an area between 200,000. So we're just going to change this. And then we're going to change this to 250,000. And let's go ahead and run that. And as you can see, we got that right. So that's it, guys, for this first one on Select Basics. And in the next one, we will do a we will do the quiz. So let me know if you guys if you guys have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.